On April 24, 1967, the Soviet cosmonaut Vladimir Komarov was sent into orbit in order to execute a very dangerous maneuver. Needless to say, the mission went extremely bad, and all that was left of him was this. Due to the space race between Soviets and US at the time, the Soviet leader Leonid Brezhnev wanted this mission to be completed no matter what. Vladimir Komarov was chosen to be the head pilot of a spacecraft Soyuz 1, which would be launched first into orbit. The second capsule would join once Soyuz 1 was stable, and at one point both capsules would proceed in exchanging cosmonauts from one to another. Days before the official launch, Komarov's best friend and his backup, Yuri Gagarin, noticed numerous technical problems with the spacecraft. He and many other engineers reported over 200 structural problems and Yuri immediately suggested that the mission should be postponed. However, due to the political significance of this task, their superiors just ignored the warnings. Faced with almost certain death, Komarov decided he will carry out the mission only because of one reason. If he doesn't, they will make his best friend do it. Immediately after launching, Soyuz 1 began to exploit many problems. The power was low, communication almost completely cut off, and every problem that Yuri Gagarin reported seemed to have taken place. After the ground control saw what was happening, Soyuz 2 was cancelled and Komarov had only one objective, to stay alive and get back to the Earth. After 5 hours and 18 failed attempts to enter the atmosphere, he was finally able to do it. But after he wasn't able to deploy parachutes, that was the end. He was falling to his death and he couldn't do anything about it. The capsule crashed into the ground at approximately 6.42 am, killing Komarov instantly. The search team who cleared the debris couldn't find his body for an hour until they noticed a deformed, charred lump confirming that he wasn't killed upon impact, but literally burned alive inside the capsule. Before he took off, Vladimir Komarov had only one request. In case he doesn't come back alive, his funeral must be held with an open casket, because he wanted Soviet leadership to see what they have done. 